Hey, it's good to have you. I mean, I don't know when the last time you, you were on the show was. Uh, but, yeah, we have to invite you for our fantasy episode. We just had our draft a few days ago. And so, um, yeah, I mean, uh, well, where, do you, where do you want to start? Well, like? I, here's where I, where I want to start is, is Josh really the fantasy guru that we, that we need here? He made the finals the, the last most year. Quest- yes, that's true. On the backs of my players that he paid at King's Ransom to get. We need to know, is Josh still running that questionable, questionable strategy this year? Well, I'm not sure if your viewers are aware of what the strategy is. And maybe I'll they are. They're loyal as hell. Well, for those unloyal fans who are just tuning in for the first time, you're in for quite a treat because what I'm about to divulge is quite possibly... The most top and, 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 and if I may interrupt, this is we can finally give away our strategies here because a year ago you, we couldn't talk yes. about this stuff. We had our draft within a few days, and so we held the cards close to our chest. Today, the, the floodgates are open, so so please feel free to, to say whatever you want. It all boils down to six versus four. <laughs> oh my that, god! That is how I look at this game. Oh my god! We play in a category league with ten categories. You only need five to win, or in most cases, you only need five to win. As I found out in the finals, you need more than five to win. Oh, boy. And we'll get to that later. Oh, my God, that's true. However, the strategy is simple. You load up on goalie, you win that every week, and then you hammer shots and hits, because those are the only stats that really matter. I think uh, you're, you're more getting at those are the, the stats that people don't care as much about and you can snipe all their good talent is, uh, is where you get. And plus, like, I mean, goalies are, uh, here, here, I'll concede you this, goalies are, first of all, very unpredictable, which is a, the shaky legs of, of the whole foundation, but taking a little bit from your strategy, I, I've never gone harder on goalies than I have this year. Oh, yeah. I thought, you know what, I've got draft capital up top. I'm not necessarily in love with the players from from four to nine range mm-hmm. round wise. So why not load up on on, on a consistency on a goalie uh, category? Yeah, looking at your draft, I mean mm-hmm. wow. Securing the Islanders tandem. Right. Huge. Yeah. Connor Alabuck, going number four, huge. I mean the depth you have You'll, you'll definitely compete this year after what most people will say is a disappointing finish. Um, yeah. Do we want to rehash the, the moments before the playoffs where not only did I pull off a come from behind win being down 8-2 to secure my playoff berth, but then also make a run to the finals only to lose on an asterisk, which was right. higher seed. And, and all that is true, ladies and gentlemen. There's there's a lot of draft picks moving around. Josh played his hand really well. He, he seemed to get the crop that was the cream of the crop. Basically, I, I traded away a lot of guys. For a fourth rounder, Josh got Patrick Kane. For a fourth rounder, some other guy got Pavel Buchnevich. What is the difference there, right? Like, Josh played it right to the very end. He did really well with it. Got to the finals, or, or you got to the finals, finals? And I think you lost on the tie, is that right? I lost on a Cal Clutterbuck healthy scratch. Wow. <laughs> no way. So, and my, my biggest surprise, I saw this and I knew Josh lost at that time. And my biggest surprise was I cannot believe Josh didn't go to this guy to my left and raise hell about how <laughs> fucked up that rule is. Like, it's just such a crazy, uh, crazy tiebreak, a terrible way to lose. Just a terrible way to lose. And I'll tell you what, we had Matt Moopsy over here in the, in the studio a couple days ago, and he was just still to this day rubbing it. He said, I can't believe I won on that fucking tie. That's what he said. Can you believe that? And then, and then he continued to snipe your draft all night long. Oh, did he ever. I mean, fellow it, George but, Brown along, by the way. Let's just get into the draft. I think we, it's about time, because he, he sniped me 